in for current ferns. Maybe another new name to some. Was very impressive in the recent BLK Silver Boot pre-season competition that's keenly contested between Brisbane based sides. Curran Ferns comes to Brisbane City from the Devonport Strikers in the National Premier League's Tasmania. Quite an impressive pedigree for him too. He's been through the Melbourne Heart and Melbourne Victory youth systems and here he is again. Ferns out the right wing there. Just going to hold up in the breeze. Touches there. almost down and he goes out wide to Curran Ferns on the left. Goes down further to McEwen. He's running in an overlap fashion, his uh, Ferns. He gets to it. Tries to get a crosser. He nutmegs Benny Phillips there. He sends the ball in and Ingles has missed. Antonio Murray on that occasion. Ethan Ingles has been lively. Out to Martioli to Ferns who puts it over the top to McEwen. McEwen now inside the box. What can you do? Puts the ball to the back. Both Martioli knocks off from McEwen. Got a chance to hit it from the box where it's blocked. Falls to Ferns, top of the box. Hits it early on the ball. Yeah, it's in! Curran Ferns is in. Nesta can only tap it on. Curran Ferns has just passed out in the middle of the field. Not a bad goal, boys. <laughs> He's, He's just... just Come from yeah, Fern, I saw the show where you missed on Monday. He was pretty influential to me, I thought. He's a very skillful player. I mean, that's why he was brought down here, because he can play football. Yeah. He's, he's skill, skillful, talented. It's a little touch on it. Comes to Ferns. Ferns digs inside of Tuma. He's still got a Ferns as he enters the box, but a timely challenge from Pat Lando Atkins sees it out to Marcioli. Still alive, though, the Zebras. Sends across to the back. Headed in by Ferns to the bottom right corner. Great goal by the Zebras, and they go further ahead. It's a, a great little run there by McCurran. He obviously, he got in top of the box, but he, he did snuff and it came out. Captain of the Sunshine Coast Fire in recent years. Now takes on the senior coaching duties. Great win there from Ferns and now Murray. Situations where he can get into a one on one situation. Long range shot here from Curran Ferns. A bit more attack minded after conceding that goal now. Ferns on for Bird. More forward position. Coppins. Frustrated there by Kelly. And Hill able to collect, sends his clearance straight to Ferns. Plenty of red shirts now back defending. Ferns. Ball in towards the penalty box. Hacked away there by Kinoshita. Murray from distance. Ferns. Up against his opposite number two. Ferns delivers the ball in just over the head of Murray. A big night planned at the artist formerly known as Spencer Park, now Corporate Travel Management Stadium. Hollingworth, the defensive line. Defensive work, I should say. And going on to make the grand final, which they lost on penalty shootout to Olympic. They did drop their first two games before then going on a 13-game unbeaten streak, including eight wins in a row in the second round. As I say, before going on that 13-game unbeaten run. Hughes, dispossessed, Buckley. He's been out there with his first involvement. The Zebra's ball now as Ferns looks through. He's entering the box on the right side. He's got Engels in board. He finds him. Engels lets it run. Comes to Lazinski and he fires wide. A golden chance from Zebra's goes begging. Ferns. Ball in. Saul. Back for Burns, out for Tuvi, off the chest, around his man, Burns recovers, good tackle, 
City looking to keep possession. Burns looking for Tooby and finds him again. No, Burns. this time. Burns for Roderick. One on one. Good save with his legs. Burns, good beat, rolls it back, full forward first time. Roman in space, rolls it inside, Burns, Buckley, cuts it back. Puts out the left, finds Lezinski, who's a long way from home, knocks into Ferns. Ferns chips a ball back to the back post, looking for Whitehall, it ends up getting to him. Chips a ball in the centre and it's headed in by Ethan Engels, first half hat trick. Ethan Ferguson out the fag, takes a touch to Ferns. All these Fs are driving me crazy. Ferns puts it forward. Trapped by Clay, but not trapped well enough. Ingles gets it and chips a delightful goal. Now. He puts through, looking, uh, I think it was for Vidal, but it's intercepted. And Ferns comes out with it now for the Zebras. He comes forward very well. Maraudering run. Ethan Ingles puts it through to Ferns, who is offside. Not comes to Turner. Retreats. Goes to Scudder, who puts it along to Turner. Stolen off him by Ferns. He's got Fielding offering wide. He cuts in, finds McEwen. They're on here. Take a ticket. Finds Ferns. Oh no, he's offside. The Zip. Looking for Dean Watkins. He looked for uh, Danny Cole. Don't look, we'll quickly take you through time. the two team lineups for Brisbane City tonight. In goal is Matt Stein. Two current Ferns, four Kai Smith. between Brisbane City and far north Queensland Heat, if you've just joined us. Now by always, two goals to one. Ferns. Here's Murray looking for an immediate response here for his side. Back again for Murray. Ferns. Leggett. Just getting word through as we wait for this uh, Brisbane City attack to come in. And there's a... During this second half, ball played again through for Ferns here. That's time for Brisbane City, who's looking directly into it at the moment. Former far north Queensland heat keeper back in the season of 2013. He's predicting Brisbane City take a third consecutive victory here today. 3-2. See if that pays off for you this afternoon, Mike. Here's a Upfield. Ferns. Collects it there from Stein, who is deep outside of his area once more. Ferns. Let's see if he comes for back Genesi. for that one. Biggins' is challenged there. On, uh, on uh, sorry, on fruit. Sunshine Coast have scored in this half. No shots off target for Brisbane City, but three off target for the Sunshine Coast Fire. Steered on here for uh, Fulick. Ferns wins the day, though. Now with big... the subsequent free kick. Kelly pokes a ball through, can pull it, pull it uh, keep it in before it goes across the goal line. He can. No he red shirts post. there. To Satake with the defensive work. Fourth PlayStation, four sides in action in Westfield FFA Cup action. Told Hill. Kelly. Throws in, finds Ferns. Ferns controls well, feeds forward. McEwen dishes on to Lezinski. Feeds it back to McEwen. It almost comes. Now, on the right. Puts it through, looking for Ferns. He just puts it back into Tokyo, very cheap. The middle, finds oh, Lezinski, Lezinski feeds Ferns well. Ferns swings around the other side, Ferns. picks up. Long ball from uh, Duncan, headed down by Ferns. McEwen on the ball now, looks to put through Ingles, intercepted well by the Stork. Ferns on the ball. Soccer and the Victory League title could be sealed this week if South Hobart defeats second place Zebras. But the black and white won't die wondering. Fresh off a seven game winning streak, they say it's South who should be nervous. They might be concerned about picking up injuries, they might be concerned about, they might think well they've got six points. 
they don't might, they might think they don't have to win you know it's it's an interesting psychological position for them Midfielder Curran Ferns left south for Zebras and has one piece of advice for his new coach on how to stop the juggernaut. Keep an eye on Braden Mann. He's the best player in the league, let's be honest. You know, when he was at Devonport last year, he carried them to second place. Now, if we can isolate him and even Andy Brennan, you know, then I think it just comes down to the middle of the park. Athletic.